Thank you, Gina. To the managing directors uh, of the Ice Pirate Group, uh, Ron Gounder and, and Kyrie Gounder. I'm sure Brent is supposed to be here, but I'm not sure if he is. Um, Airports Fiji, Fiji Airports Limited Manager for, for Landside Operations. The famous Joe Gray has, still hasn't arrived, but I'll acknowledge him anyway. <laughs> Brandy, uh, President of Nanny Sports Club, Mr. Jameson, invited guest, ladies and gentlemen. Bulamanaka, very good evening to uh, all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to be here uh, this evening to be part of Ron and um, Kyrie's achievement and to officially launch Ice Bar and Grill. Uh, over the last few days, uh, I've launched a niche skincare ritual resort where collection and a co-working space all within Nandi. And uh, this is, uh, we are we're gathered to launch another existing venture, uh, pinning the resilience of our business community within this particular township. Ron and Kyrie, as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, the, lo the location of your establishment in the entertainment, uh, entertainment uh, section of, of Martin Tower is ideal. It's a lively and an exciting hub. Uh, and I think we've been without some excitement for almost two years now. And I'm sure the ice bar and grill will be added to the bucket list of those seeking experiences uh, when they actually come to Fiji. I'm told we've got about 16 Fijians who will be employed at the, at the Ice Bar and Grill, and that's wonderful news. And in, in addition, there are three at the Eco Fresh Garden based on Fantasy Island, and supplying organic produce also to the Ice Bar and Grill kitchen. Uh, and honestly, it's actually a good uh, synergetic concept of, of linking the farm to the table. Like many other businesses, ladies and gentlemen, the Ice Bar and Grill uh, has, has been in business for over a decade. Uh, I think it's some 13 years now. And uh, that's a decade of continued investment also. I'm happy to see that you've used the downtime to actually refurbish and refit and retrofit everything and just come up with a new creative idea. It's also a decade of providing jobs and um, the decade of service. And again, like every other business, the COVID-19 pandemic has called us for all us to all of us to remodel and also to re-engineer the traditional way of we actually are doing business as a matter of survival. Today the team under the leadership of Ron and Kyrie are, are reintroducing the ice bar and grill and uh, uh, <coughs> it's operating from about 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. what I understand. Um, maybe you open a little earlier for breakfast Ron. It's actually a, a bistro and a kava bar, uh, which will be very popular, I understand, and a cocktail bar and restaurant services. They will also provide a shuttle service, taking their service to another level. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's actually been a very creative time for Ron and his partner. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic has actually taught us uh, a lot. It's taught us to acquire a new set of skills. It's taught us to, uh, uh, to re-establish, re-engineer, and most importantly, taught us how to adapt to new situations. And, you know, we all know that COVID's gonna be around for a long time, so we have to adapt. It's a matter of, it's not even a choice anymore, it's a must. So I commend Rod and Kyrie for, for utilizing this downtime in, in business to remodel and renovate. And from what I understand, the investment costs are about 80 or thousand dollars. And this is an impressive space uh, to come back anew. Operation will contribute to the much needed impetus within this particular locality and operate within COVID safe protocols for the safety of patrons and also for the staff. You know, and that is something that I must emphasize. Please ensure that you abide by the COVID safe protocols at all times. We are not out of the woods by any stretch of the imagination. We have just opened our borders. Uh, please make sure that uh, uh, your VaxTech tool is always in operation and you ensure that everybody that enters here is double vaxxed and checked. We know that certain businesses are proven to be riskier than others during the pandemic. And uh, like all other high risk businesses, ladies and gentlemen, strict adherence to COVID safe measures are crucial in this particular time. And I cannot emphasize that enough. It is uh, adaptability and compliance that will, uh, to a great extent, actually determine your fate. And I, as a word of warning, I will tell you, that uh, we do have people going around, during, especially during this Christmas period, for those that have permission to operate, checking on whether the, whether you are actually COVID safe or not. 
We have had to close down a few places. Uh, we shall remain nameless, but they are very famous places. But we've had to close down because they actually breached them. So be mindful of all of that. And not just for the owners, for the patrons of the place too. Whoever comes here, you must observe the COVID safe protocols to continue to come here and enjoy the food and, and, and the alcohol and etc. To be a compliant bar today goes, goes uh, way beyond uh, paying your taxes and doing business. It, to be compliant today means that you must have in place public health measures. It is no longer an option. It is a must. You must do that. And uh, from maximizing natural ventilation also, you have an advantage. You've got some great natural ventilation outside. I know we had a chat about it outside, so please make use of it. And having hand sanitizers also uh, to checking the vaccination status and, and disinfecting the services. We have tourists coming back into town. They may want to frequent this place. So that's again a very important thing that you must remember and realize that they will take these stories back to their country and say, well, Fiji is a great place because, you know, it's, we've, had, we've had compliance with COVID safe measures. And I want to emphasize, you know, forgive me for speaking a little longer, but I want to emphasize that we cannot, we must not, we just shall not be complacent and disregard the COVID safe uh, procedures that are in place. It's taken a lot of time for, from the CRMT team and, and, and the Ministry of Health and the team at the ministry to make sure that these, we put these processes in place to protect everybody. So please abide by them and make sure that they're in place. All businesses must remember uh, that by following the rules today, you are actually securing your future. God forbid you breach it, we shut you down simple as that you know then it's a it's a waste of all that money that you spend to, uh, doing it all up and it's not I'm not just warning you this is for everybody and you know I'm sure you've heard Dr. Fong say it in the public space that there's a lot of people who are just being non-compliant it's very simple the mask is necessary I've just come back from a place where there's hundreds of thousands of people traveling around at an expo and uh, they're all compliant and so there's no we are no different we should be able to do that we must ensure that most importantly, we must ensure that Fiji remains a, the safest place to visit. It took a lot for us to open our borders. Let's not jeopardize that by making small mistakes. And that our visitors must feel safe when they come to Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the Ministry of Commerce, Trade, Tourism, Transport, together with the Ministry of Health, have put in all the protocols, as I said, and we will to ensure minimal risk when continuing, continuing business. This particular framework uh, with the subset protocols calls for hygiene and, and infection control, such as adequate ventilation, as I said, etc. So, last word, remember, this is our home. This is our home, this is our Fijian businesses, and it's our own people. So we must do the very best and our very best to protect what is ours. It is you that actually has to ensure that this is done. And I say this with the utmost of sincerity, to ensure that this layer of protection that we have is maintained. We have COVID safe ambassadors that will be traveling around even more so during the public, uh, public holidays. We have a few of them here. And other enforcement officers from Fiji Competition and Consumer Commission and the Fiji Police Force are on the ground, uh, ensuring that COVID safe protocols uh, are actually uh, practiced. The last thing we want to do is come and shut you down. Coming back to today's event, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I want to congratulate Ron and Kyrie and, uh, and the team uh, at the Ice Bar and Grill for pursuing a decisive aim with some determination. And it's my hope that your service, uh, you service your customers and, uh, the, and make, make sure that you look after their health and safety and well-being. And this, is, this becomes the pinnacle of your service value. I wish you all the very best. Uh, it's great to be back here. I know I haven't been here for many years, Ron, but uh, I wish... <laughs> He says 10 years. <laughs> I wish you well and uh, in your business and, your, uh, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. Uh, may you enjoy the Christmas and uh, wonderful, have, a, have a wonderful, wonderful New Year. Thank you very much. Thank you.